The conversation amongst us right now and the other elected officials is incredibly um, somber, <laughs> um, respectful, um, in awe of how our uniformed uh, officials go out every day, um, not knowing if they're going to come home. An El Paso County Commissioner echoing the sentiments of so many of us tonight. Friends, colleagues and community members pausing to mourn the loss of Deputy Andrew Peary, who was gunned down last night while trying to save a woman in security Whitefield. Good evening, I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsoll. We have more tonight on the deputy, on the suspect, and the woman who died last night, all in security Widefield. The one person involved whom we had really yet to learn anything about up until this point from CSPD or El Paso County is that woman who was shot just before deputies arrived, Alex Paz. That changes tonight after a conversation we had a short time ago with her mother in Mississippi. She lights up the room when she walks in, um, her smile, she always has a, a happy smile. Rosetta Kelly says Alex loved animals and was just about finished with her college courses and training to become a veterinary tech. The 26 year old Marine left the military and moved here with her husband, John, almost two years ago, but they were currently going through a divorce. Alex told her mother John was cheating, which led to their separation, but her mother never thought he was capable of something like this. Did you ever think he was capable of something like this? No, no. We actually had, before they moved to Colorado Springs and before we moved here, um, they came up a few times, spent Christmas with us, stayed at our house. We, we thought he was a good kid and we liked him. Any idea what could have pushed him over the edge? Divorce, because she was done. She wasn't going to go through another cheating relationship again. More than anything, her mom tonight told me she wants to make sure people know that there were two wonderful people lost in this tragedy, not just the deputy. Her parents plan to have her remains sent home to Oregon, where she will be buried with full military honors. As of this evening, there is no fundraiser set up to support her family with those expenses, but if one is established, we'll be sure to post those details on KRDO.com.